Hey guys, Sean here and today we'll be talking about a very interesting subject. A subject that you might have already heard a lot in the news. It's called NFTs. 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 What are NFTs? They are basically non-fungible tokens. What are non-fungible tokens? It's giving you a digital signature on things that you put on the internet. Example, anything from art, music, basically any digital asset right now can have a one-of-a-kind signature that can be verified. And from that, it gives legitimacy to a certain piece of digital asset that you might have. So today I'll be bringing you through how to set up your own NFTs, sell your digital assets in one of the most popular marketplace for NFTs out there, which is OpenSea. The first thing you'll need is a wallet, specifically a MetaMask wallet. This is where you're going to house your Ethereum. So Ethereum is the main coin that is being used to transact in OpenSea. So you'll need to get Ethereum firstly and then put it into this MetaMask wallet and then from here you can then transact. When, when I say transact is there is a cost to listing your product so you'll need to pay a certain amount to list it. It's called gas and of course if people are interested in your art they can always send money into your wallet. So the first thing I'll suggest everyone to do is to install a MetaMask wallet for Chrome. So this basically adds a Chrome extension. So once you have the extension, you'll be asked whether you want to import your wallet or create a, a new wallet. And in this case, I'll be creating a new wallet. So the first page shows what you'll have to agree to. Once that is done, you key in your new password. And because I already have a Meta account, I won't particularly go through this phase again but I'll tell you what happens after that. So you'll be given a 12 letter seed phase. They are basically words of which you will need to remember them. Of course you can write it down and in the sequence that they came with. I don't think you'll be able to take a screenshot you can take a photo of course. I would suggest you list them down. You can open a word doc because after that you'll be asked to insert the words again in the same order. So again it's very important that you keep this safe with you because those are your words and in the event that you lose your uh, password this will be the way you can regain access into your account because metamask apparently does not keep your password so in the event that you have more than one laptop or desktop of which you've previously set up your account at and you want it included in another laptop you'll have to enter the seed phases again basically you'll have to import the wallet into that particular laptop. So in this scenario, I'm also doing it for my other laptop. As you can see here, they'll ask you to import and come with the seed faces. So I have the seed faces already and I'm just going to paste it. Congratulations, you passed the test. Connect. And once you've logged in into your MetaMask account, this is where you can access OpenSea. As you can see here, I already have my profile with a few NFT work. Link in the description if you want to see it. <laughs> And now we proceed into creating a collection. Go up to create, click on my collection, and then you can have the option to create a new collection. It's firstly recommended that you upload a logo. This logo will be basically your album cover for your art. Not sure why I have a picture of this guy. Who is he by the way? Anyway, this is a test. Okay, then we create testing the album or your collection has been created then you can add item occasionally this will appear asking you to sign in then from here you can edit your collection you can edit your logo you can have another featuring image name etc and before we continue if you guys have been finding this useful or you're learning something from it do give a thumbs up like share comment subscribe to my channel it will help me tremendously now, from your edit collection, you can put in a logo, a featuring image as well, change the name, change the URL as well, put a description, add categories, art, collectible, you can add up until two categories, you can put in your links, commission, which is very important, you can put up to 10%, so the moment someone sells your art again, you get 10%. So the maximum right now you can put is 10%. It's important to put your payout wallet, which is your MetaMask wallet. So if you click into your extension, 
pull out the extension. You just have to copy this clipboard and then you put in your wallet into here. And then from here, you can also display your teams. You want it padded, contained, covered, etc. Submit changes. And then you're done. And as we go back into the collection album itself, you can add new item here. This is where you're going to add your NFT art itself. So of course, you can put an image. I'm going to put some random in image. Yeah, this one looks nice. Put it in here. Super test. There's an external link. Super test. Description. And then you create. Just like that. Congratulations. You have your first NFT art up and running. Now back to how we can actually sell your art is once you've listed it up here already, you have, there is a button to sell it. All you have to do is click sell. Once you click sell, you'll be given an option on how you want to sell it. You can set a fixed price. You can go for the highest bid. At this point of time, I would recommend going for the highest bid only because there are just millions upon millions of people selling their art or NFTs every single day. You really don't know what the value of your piece is. It could be totally worthless or it could be something to someone or it could even be, you know, the next people art that costs 70 million, who knows? But I think it's important to, to let the market decide on what the value is. What I went with with my piece was to put the highest bid. Now in this space, you obviously don't want to be losing money, right? And in order to list your product for sale, there is a requirement to use up some gas. So what I'm trying to do is, when I put in the highest bid, I will put the minimum amount enough to cover the gas that I'm actually using. What I've realized is that for some reason, over the weekend, the prices are cheaper. So I would suggest maybe you posting it over the weekend. But then again, it could work differently from where you are. So I would say just may maybe just monitor the pricing and find out when it's the cheapest time to post it. So the minimum bid I'm going to place is to ensure I just cover my cost. In this case, I'm just going to put 0.01 Ethereum. Reserve price, create a hidden limit by setting a reserve price. I mean, I'm just going to put one, you know, because I really don't know what the what the value of my art is. Expiry date in five days, how long you want this auction to be. One month never set a specific date. And then after that, you can post your listing. The 10% is what we've set earlier. These are the fees. So because that was just a test earlier, I'll show you an example of an art that I can choose to sell. Now let's go ahead with posting your listing. So once that happens, so once that happens, your MetaMask notification will appear. This will tell you to, to accept this and to sign this in order for your product to be listed. In the event that you do proceed, another notification will come in telling you how much gas fees is required for this and this again can range from anywhere i've seen it like at the highest point it was like 82 dollars and um just earlier when i posted it a few days ago like it was like 50. so again the price fluctuates i would suggest not posting it immediately but just kind of like having a gauge on what the prices are and then hopefully when you see a low price then just go for it. So once you've actually posted your art, you can view it here. I have one that has already been listed. My first edition copy of 105 Boy is going for a minimum bid of 0.01 Ethereum. Here you can see I've listed it. I call this Purple Haze. Um, and there you have it. Ta-da! You've listed your art and hopefully someone sees this valuable if not then oh well and there you go guys this is how you post up your first nft i hope this has helped you in some way on your nft journey let me know in the comments even if you have any questions i'll love to answer them and i'll see you guys again soon ciao